And it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here with Tony, who is with AVG, and they're going to show us not only AVG itself on Android, but also two new products that they've released uh, very recently. Did, were they today or? Well, this week. Uh, oh, this week, yeah. yes. Okay. While, while we're here at CTIA. Oh, okay. Uh, we've released uh, AVG Cleaner and AVG Image Shrinker. Okay. Well, why don't we go through uh, those two first. Let's talk about the Image Shrinker. Well, the image shrink is really, uh, really interesting. You know how, how you collect all those photographs on a mobile mm -hmm. phone? You know, well, and then you're going to post some of them onto photo sharing sites or maybe mm -hmm. onto a social networking site. Mm -hmm. you know, what we allow you to do is shrink the image down before you actually post it. Mm -hmm. So one is you could delete the original if you don't want the high quality image. So mm -hmm. we're saving you space on the device. Yep. But more importantly, we're actually saving you bandwidth on your data plan. Yes, yeah, so you're actually be, uh, you're being allowed to monitor that slightly better. And when you shrink it, we give you a choice of the quality that you actually want to shrink it to. Okay. Yeah, so we put the choice back in your hands. You'll see I'm given a, a select size. So I can now choose what size I want to actually push, to, uh, push this down to. Now this is going to make it easier for me to upload to a, a photo sharing or a, a, um, a social networking site. Like a Facebook. Yeah, or and it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow me to also save bandwidth. Yeah, on my data plan. So I can actually turn and say, oh, I'm only going to put this on the web, so I'm going to put this into small mode. Yeah, uh, And I could delete the original here as well if I want. So if, it's, if that's all I'm ever going to use the picture for, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good format to keep it in. And it saves storage on the device. And there we are. I've uh, shrunk it down. So you can see also how much of it I uh, shrunk down. Uh, and then you can see where I can actually post it to. Yeah. So I could email it or I could put it on uh, any of the, the photo sharing sites uh, that I've got here as well. Wonderful. Uh, so that would be the image shrinker. How about uh, AVG Cleaner? Well, AVG Cleaner, you know, you and I take our car to the garage. You know, every six months we get our oil changed to get that, get that rubbish out of the bottom of the engine. Exactly. AVG Cleaner is exactly that way. You know, your device accumulates cache files, temporary files, and files from in past installations, etc., and things you've deleted. Yeah. What uh, Cleaner does is go through those and remove them all for you. It's already calculated that on this device, yeah, uh, it can save 134 megabytes of memory oh, and be nice. saved. Okay. So, but just by cleaning that off, um, it will make the device a little bit more efficient. Um, yeah. So, so I can I can actually click on one uh, click on here. I can see what applications are causing it. Um, and I can clean all the caches. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't, I'd rather not do that. So, <laughs> so the next person that comes along, I can demonstrate it no uh, with all. that in there as well. And you can schedule that to happen on a, a timely basis, so it automatically wipes them out of the device, freeing up space and making the device uh, perform a bit better. Oh, wonderful. All right, well, uh, coming into AVG for Android, uh, you guys mentioned to me that AVG is now the most downloaded uh, application for antivirus on Android. And um, I had a question for you. Um, I, get, I think it'd be worth it to hear from someone in the industry about um, is, is Android, well, okay, let's put it this way. I guess a lot of people do want to have that extra protection, but would you say Android is a vulnerable operating system? Um, by nature, as an open OS, uh, you're susceptible to attack. Now, if, if you look at platforms as they grow, what you'll see is once a platform gets over a certain market share, it becomes interesting to the bad guys. What you've got to remember is five years ago, or, or five or ten years ago, it was kind of about disruption. So the bad guys were writing the blue screen viruses and malware. You know, now, they write it to make money. So they want to covertly install something on your device, they want to steal your identity or, or take some money off you. Now, on a mobile platform, that's, that's, there's an easy monetization route. Because if I write a piece of malware and I can send a premium rate SMS, mm -hmm. yeah, I can directly monetize. Well, that's actually much simpler than writing it on a PC. So yeah, it's a more susceptible platform, but because it's open. Um, and because it's open, we see all those app developers out there writing great apps as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, 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 it just means consumers need to be aware mm -hmm. of the risk. Uh, and install some security software. Let us take, yeah, let us look after that piece. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, one question that just came up into my mind just now. Uh, I understand that Android, well, of course, Android is a platform that's available across so many different devices, and it may be pretty easy to take care of, you know, securing it. But is there a difference in securing, a, let's say, a stock Android experience as opposed to, say, a Samsung TouchWiz or an HTC type of uh, user interface? No, I mean, the skin that a certain manufacturer puts on top of the Android OS doesn't really affect us because we are, we're working below that level. Gotcha. So for example, if you're downloading an app from an app store, we're actually checking the APK up in the cloud. 
Yeah, so before it hits the device. Okay. So we're kind of before that, you know, or deeper down in the OS than that. And it's never posed a problem at all? Not that I know of, no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, we may have some uh, user interface issues. I've never heard of any, but who knows? Oh, okay. I'm coming to you live from uh, CTIA 2013. This is Pepcom Mobile Focus, and we're going to go through uh, with AVG. Uh, Tony, just before I sign off, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Josh. All right.